I grew up kind of going to church with my family. Um, it was mostly when I was younger, so it wasn't anything really, I guess, life-changing at the time for me, you know, an activity for Sunday morning as opposed to a lifestyle. Um, and then just because of, you know, multiple sibling sports, my brother and I playing soccer on the weekends, kind of just as a family stopped going as much. And with that, definitely had less pull to the church as well as as I got a little bit older, um, my pride just kind of leading me to this mindset of just not knowing the, I guess, um, depth of, you know, my sin and that our kind of fleshly sin, just kind of thinking I don't need the church because I already am a morally outstanding, you know, person. And I recognize now kind of the, the falseness and that pride. You know, so many people misuse religion and thus, since I don't need it, like maybe no one needs it or the world could be better off without it. And I really had that mindset for um, quite a few years of my kind of young life. It definitely started through uh, my beautiful wife, Courtney. Um, she has been with the church all throughout her life. And as we started dating and moved into engagement, um, I would accompany her to church and, and appreciate the message, but it definitely took some time to really have that sink in more from just a, you know, action standpoint and actually encompassing the message wholly. And that wasn't like a, you know, just flipping the switch because I was attending church again, but kind of starting that process, starting to read through the word with her. And then once we got up here to rest in, she started going to JT small group. I started joining her at JT small group. We're getting farther in the word. And then the combination of those things, plus um, starting to finally resonate with uh, the New Testament and the gospel um, brought me through to a relationship with Christ that I would like to profess. Courtney and I have been working through the Bible together and I'd say getting to the New Testament and making it through the gospels really was a kind of I guess closure in coming to know Jesus and wanting to embrace the church. Through this process and definitely as I kind of read more and was just seeking to better understand the word, I pretty often go back to a verse in Mark where Jesus is getting tested by the Pharisees and responds to the question of what is the greatest commandment with the most important one, answer Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Now coming to know Jesus, I feel like I can kind of start by being a better husband to Courtney and then also humble myself um, through knowing that Christ died for me and that I should live my life to I guess not really repay that, but glorify um, that relationship. Really recognizing that I'm not living for myself or material or worldly things anymore, but living for that relationship with God. Yeah, so there wasn't really a specific moment I can point to in my life, some you know critical junction where I can look back and say, I am now a believer in Christ, but um, and it's kind of funny because Courtney, throughout us knowing each other, would periodically ask me, like, just kind of cryptically, has anything changed? And I would kind of cryptically answer back, like, do you think anything's changed? Like, you know, what does it, does it look like? Does it look like I'm a follower of Christ? You know, um, and it wasn't until probably a night at small group that JT actually, or just we were talking about this, and I don't even think it was a pointed question, just I'm kind of explaining this same story as now and kind of realizing that, yes, I, I, don't, I can't point to when it happened, but I would 
refer to myself at this point as a um, believer in, in Christ and that he died for me. So um, there's definitely been some thoughts of just, I briefly summarized it as imposter syndrome, but essentially, you know, I want to get on this path, but am I far enough along or am I deserving of, you know, this relationship and small group really helped me realize that, you know, the short of it is none of us are deserving. We're all kind of sinners from the beginning and we need to repent and embrace this relationship to absolve us of this sin and uh, live to glorify God.